Scatter Brains, thank you for coming back to another episode of Scatter Brilliancy. My name is Travis, and I am here during the day to do a review for Married at First Sight season 13, episode. Did I say season 13? Yeah, season 13, episode 14. Uh, so, preface this is during the day, which means everybody is awake, including my two young children. So, at any given moment, you might hear screaming and crying. At any given moment, one of them may pop into this video. You have been warned. This video may get off track. It may not. Who knows? Because last night was boring. But I uh, just wanted to go ahead and put that out there just in case either of them decides to just walk on in the office. Uh, that's first preface. Uh, announcements. After waiting and waiting and waiting for so long, I have finally arrived, I finally received my full order of wrapping paper. Um, I told y'all many videos ago that I came up with my own Christmas wrapping paper designed by me that I got manufactured and I was so concerned that it was going to get caught up in everything that's going on over in the Pacific in California with all those cargo ships. Um, I ordered this back in July. I think it's been in the U.S. since like August 28th or 9th and I just got my order Monday of this week so I'm very excited uh, thank you to those who already purchased it <clears throat> this is what it looks like unwrapped just in case you're watching me for the first time and you have never seen it okay uh, each roll is 27 and a half inches wide eight feet long uh, last night I almost didn't even watch Married at First Sight because we were boxing orders um, pretty much all evening so thank you to the scatterbrains who have already purchased like this is what the office is looking like this is just in here so that's just in here that's not even five percent of the shipments that have to go out um that i'm sending out saturday so if you got your if you ordered yours more than likely you've already gotten an email that the label has been created I'm dropping them all off at the post office on saturday all right, I get the camera back right. Um, like I was saying, this episode wasn't, this episode was, is gonna be difficult to review uh, just because the couples went on their, I guess, final couple retreat because it's like two weeks from decision day. But it was so much cutting back and forth between everybody's conversations that I can't review that because I don't like doing play for play reviews and I've told y'all that I just kind of like to give an overview but it was so many conversations taking place throughout the episode I'm not going to hit everything so if there's something that I missed from the scatterbrains who watched like in detail detail make sure you leave it down below because it was kind of hard at times for me to even keep up with the conversation because I was so like just focused on get these orders out get these orders out get these orders out and speaking of those who want to order I still have um roles left if you're interested link is down in the description all right so they went to a ranch somewhere in texas i don't know where uh like this my notes like for girla i don't have anything for them i have nothing for girla this week that's why like when the episode came on i was just like i don't know how i'm gonna review this but um let's just see for bonnie uh bow was not excited about going she was hoping to um Oh no, Bao was not excited about going. I don't think she really wants to be around Johnny, which uh, Jack Skellington, as I should say. She doesn't want to be around Jack Skellington, and I don't um, blame her. Another side note, this is real scattered, hence the name of the channel. When people watch my reviews for the first time, they're always confused, it seems, by the nicknames that I give. That is my thing. I don't, I can't say I took that from anybody. I've been doing that since I started reviewing Married at First Sight back in season three. I give people nicknames, okay? It just makes the episode fun. People were confused about why I was, why I was calling Dr. Pepper, Dr. Cheerwine. I'm from North Carolina. There is a soda that I think is manufactured here in North Carolina called Cheerwine. It has a burgundy label, just like the soda Dr. Pepper and they maybe taste the same. I don't know. The cherry flavor, I believe. So that's why I called her Dr. Cheerwine. Like jokes don't, I feel like jokes aren't as funny when you got to explain them. But that's where Dr. Cheerwine came from. I mean, you know, like, okay. All right, moving on. Like I was saying, uh, Bao's not excited about going. 
Uh, when Johnny gets there, he's just hoping that they have separate beds or he's going to put a pillow in between them. And that's that. Uh, Jose, uh, Rose, I had nothing but pep talk written. Not sure what that meant. Um, like I said, Girla, I had nothing. Brett and Ryan, she tells him about the sister saying that maybe he's distracted. And Ryan is really confused about what the sister might have been uh, referring to. Uh, Zakayla, of course, will have the most to talk about this episode. Uh, and this is off the heels of the whole, what would you say on decision day? They both would say no. For her, she said, well, since the answer is no, let's sleep in separate uh, separate beds. And he was like, well, if I'm sleeping in a separate bed, I'm just going to go home. He ended up, she ended up moving out, you know, taking all the spices. A lot of y'all kept telling me to watch Unfiltered. So I watched the last Unfiltered. I'm not watching anymore. And... It, it, it gives you a little more insight in what happened, but at the same time, I don't want insight. I want you to show me on the show the reality. If you're showing me the reality of a reality TV show, I don't need somebody on the reality TV show to sit down and break down what really happened. That just means what y'all showing me is not the full reality. Granted, you can't show us everything, but it shouldn't be to the point where you have unfiltered episodes for people to explain why this happened this way? Why this happened that way? Like, I'm not watching no more unfiltered episodes. A lot of people were talking about Bao um, saying Mika uh, Michaela and Johnny, they kind of ganged up on Bao or talked about Bao. I don't, I didn't really catch that vibe. I just feel like they were both over their spouses. And spoiler alert for those who ain't heard, apparently Zach is dating Bao. Sorry if I just ruined the show for you, but that's what they're saying in the streets. Y'all should already know by now. Michaela, Zach, Bao, Johnny, they ain't gonna make it. Okay, that's just that should be obvious to everybody at this point. Uh, so we the people believe that that's the reason why Michaela and, and Johnny were going so hard on Bao is because she was Zach now allegedly. I don't know. Who cares? All right. So for Zakayla, he wants to sorry for everything that happened. They talk before they get to the retreat, but they stop somewhere on the way there. Um. What do we do? Oh, what do we do well? Um, and they say they have fun. He tells her she looks like a goat at some point or another. They stopped to, where they stopped, it was like a goat farm or something. I don't know what it is about goats in this show, but he told her that she looked like a goat and I didn't get the reference. I laughed, but I didn't get the reference of why she looked like a goat. I, I didn't understand that at all, but Zach said she looked like a goat and she laughed it off. So, you know, that's a part of their humor and it is what it is. They talked about sleeping in the same bed, and I think they agreed that they were going to sleep in the same bed. Uh, they get there first, and for me, I felt like Michaela got there first, and she was just eyeing what she was going to tear up when she turned up. You know, she looked around and said, yeah, I'm going to snatch that off the wall. I'm going to knock that bench over. I'm going to break that glass. I feel like that's what she did when she got in. She started eyeing the place to figure out what can she tear up on Lifetime's budget that's going to get taken out her check. All right, that's all I got for the individual couple things. So let's try to go through what happened once everybody got there. Oh, the sun is deciding to start peeking out. To start deciding to peek out. You want to come say hey? Push the door open. And there are my bicycles in here. Okay, but you got to speak real quick and then go back out. Okay. Okay. Don't don't grab that here. <laughs> All right, that that's enough. Okay. No, you, you speak and then Hi. you gotta go. Okay. And now brother's gonna speak and then no stop. Brother's gonna speak and I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Okay. All right. Say bye bye. Bye. All right. Come here, buddy. You wanna speak too? Come here. I told y'all. All right. Wow. You still eating your popcorn? Okay. Mm. Can you put my wrapping paper down? No. Nah. Take it to mommy. Are you going to go get your sister? Granny. Daddy, I'm a grandma. Your grandma. Don't mess up my wrapping paper. All right, y'all go ahead and go so I can finish the thing. No. I, I'll be out in a little bit because I ain't got much to talk about. All right, can I have it's it? It's all in the air. Yeah, can I have it or can no. you? No. Okay, buddy, go get your sister. Go get your sister. Come and get me. Go take it to mommy. Hold on, y'all. Because it is. Where's my phone? Okay. Y'all sit right there. Don't make no noise. All right. Um, 
All right, so they all have like dinner or something together. They go around the table, ask how things are going. Everybody's giving advice. Um, they give Brett something thoughtful to make up for everything that's happened with her dog, which is nice. You know, they were all kind of trying to be there for her because it's still affecting her. Uh, Brian. This is why I do reviews at night once the sun and the children have gone down. Don't you climb up on that door. <sighs> Goodness gracious, y'all. <laughs> All right, so they discuss where is everybody sleeping. Uh, what ends up happening is Bonnie and, not Bonnie, um, Bao and Brett sleep in rooms by themselves. Johnny and Ryan are left to figure out where they're gonna sleep. I think they do rock, paper, scissors or something for the couch because there's like there's a sixth room. And um Ryan ends up losing, so he sleeps on the couch and Johnny sleeps in the room. Uh and I think it's obvious for those two couples. I already said by Bow and Johnny, but it's obvious for Brett and Ryan that they're not gonna make it either. So nobody should be holding out hope for that. Um Johnny's goal, as he tells us, is to spend as little time as possible with Bow. That speaks a lot to what he wants to happen in this marriage. Johnny, Jack Skellington, I keep forgetting his new name. Jack Skellington is over it. He is not interested, and I think it is clear. Bonnie Bow is not going to cater to Jack Skellington the way that he wants to be catered to. He wants to be a trophy husband. He wants to be put up on a pedestal. He wants to be catered to. And this ain't a destiny child situation, and it's not going to happen. Bow is just not about that life. You know, Johnny continuously, as he said on Unfilter, says that the person that Bow shows on the show is not who she really is. Michaela, I think, chimed in and agreed with that as well. So who knows? Um, the girls talk about unanswered questions. Uh, Bow gives this story about what I believe I didn't take that all in notes, but she talked about what I think she saw her parents go through. And she talked about how she would never marry a man like that. And I think you're, she is married to the kind of man that she says she wouldn't marry. But I kind of feel like that's what happens when you let somebody else pick your spouse. All of those, oh, I'm never going to marry a person who's like this. So I'm never going to marry a person who like, who's like that. That goes out the window when you let somebody else pick your spouse. You don't have a say in that kind of stuff anymore. Uh... Um, Girilla goes horseback riding. Gilbert is scared of horses. It's already locked. Are you unlocking it? Uh, Zakayla is, I spelled something wrong. Oh, they sit down and they talk. Uh, Zach says that he doesn't believe, he knows marriage is work, but like marriage with Michaela is like a different kind of work. Now, Zach and his taco meat were talking this whole time, and I gotta be honest, I'm not really sure what Zach was trying to convey in this conversation. Um, can you close the door? No, 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 close the door with you on the other side of it, not in here. You need to go on the other side of the door. Um, but he says marriage with Michaela is difficult and she says if marriage is so hard then why is he with her and why does he keep trying? He feels like if they were divorced it would be a different circumstance and, and almost came, up, came off like he was saying if they say no on decision day they're still going to stay together and they're still going to see if they can make things work outside of the marriage as if that makes a difference because I understand what Michaela was saying like Michaela's going to be Michaela whether they're married or whether they're divorced and single and dating. And it's clear who Zach and his taco meat is and who Michaela is just does not mesh. So whether they're married or not, it's not going to make a difference because in this particular instance, for them, marriage is just a title. You know what I mean? And a legal binding document or whatever. But it's not going to make a difference. So why why even keep trying? And that's when she has that over dramatic reaction where I thought a bug landed on her lip or something. And, you know, she was... I can't, I can't, I can't. And I was like, oh, it must be the Texas bugs or something. But no, she was just saying that she can't because 
she was just getting frustrated with how he was going around in circles and everything. And I get it. He, he was saying a whole lot of nothing that it didn't make full sense to me. But I'm sure there'll be somebody in the comments who can break down what Zach and his taco meat were talking about. But um, he gets frustrated. He, he says that he leaves, you know, and, and then that's that. Uh, Zach says that there's two different Michaela's. They or they end up having a talk that night. He says it's two different Michaela's. He doesn't want to. She doesn't want to ride back with him. They're going back and forth about how they're gonna get back. She says, "I can call my sister." And I'm just confused. I'm like, "Aren't all of y'all from the same city? Why couldn't you just ride back with a different cast member?" None of that. None of that made sense to me about. And they like to when they know I'm recording something. They like to turn up even more to get my attention. And that's what this is all is. They're like, he's recording a video. We about to turn it on 1000. That's exactly what's happening right now. Hey, don't do that again. Uh, so they're having pretty much like a full blown argument. She calls her sister, which I don't understand. To me, it was very passive aggressive. Like, why are you involving the sister? It's obvious that the siblings have already been involved at this point, which is a bad thing. You do not want to involve your family in um, spats between you and your person because the family is not going to get over it after y'all have and that's always going to taint you know their view and Zach was saying he wanted to make sure that she got home safely which I understood but the whole thing was just stupid to me it was just dumb it was, it was just dumb and I'm probably not making any sense because clearly it's a lot going on in my house right now I feel like it's just as chaotic as that scene was last night but um it pretty much ends they go back and forth, they argue, whatever. He grabs his bag and she takes it back into the room because earlier in the night there was this whole thing about um, superlatives for the cast. And so they said things like, um, who is most likely to have a baby first? Who's most likely to go to rehab, leave the party early? Who's to be a drama queen? Petty. I know it's probably some people that's already done clicked off this video because I know I would have. And so she was voted to be like the most petty. So she said, well, I'm petty, right? So she takes his bag and takes it back in the room. So things pretty much end with Zach leaving, Michaela getting mad, going into the house, knocking stuff over because she upset and she ticked off. And that's pretty much it. I'm over this video. Thanks for watching. Y'all already know what to do. Talk to y'all later. Peace.